Fix error code 0xc800022 while updating Windows or installing .NET. Case study 1. You can't update your Windows due to that error. Solution 1. Step 1. Perform clean boot. Note, after you check the functionality in clean boot configure Windows to use normal startup. Step 2. Disable antivirus. Application. Important note, if you have to temporarily disable it to install other software, you should re-enable it as soon as you're done. If you're connected to the internet or a network while your antivirus software is disabled, your computer is vulnerable to attacks. And, this action would also require the admin access. Step 3, Reset Windows Update Components. For starters, try the following bat file at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash and 7 yln. For powers users, See advanced instructions at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash mpn 740. Important, this section, method, or task contains steps that tell you how to modify the registry. However, serious problems might occur if you modify the registry incorrectly. Therefore, make sure that you follow these steps carefully. For added protection, back up the registry before you modify it. Step 4, head to https colon slash slash goo.gl slash zxagur and slash or contact with official Microsoft technical support for additional troubleshooting options. Warning, while performing chktsk on the hard drive if any bad sectors are found on the hard drive when chktsk tries to repair that sector if any data available on that might be lost. Solution 2, step 1, run the following command net stop wooser with the admin access. Step 2, head to percent winder percent and rename the folder software distribution. Step 3, Run the following command net start wooser with the admin access. Solution 3, Step 1, Run Windows Update Troubleshooter at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash Step 2, Reset Windows Update Components. Solution 4, Step 1. Check if your BIOS is enabled correctly for hardware virtualization. See useful info at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash rqfmvz. VTX is disabled in the BIOS, how to enable Intel virtualization technology, VTX, and AMDV in BIOS. Step 2, try to install Windows Update with your antivirus, if you're running one, disabled. Other voice on the web, do a clean install of Windows. After that, 1.1 make sure the Windows firewall is enabled 1.2 uninstall any now invalid Norton, McAfee, etc. Free trial were which was also reinstalled slash pre-installed using the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide. 1.3 check in at Windows Update and get the computer fully patched. 1.4 make sure that Windows Defender is enabled and fully updated. Case study 2.net
Framework installation failure, 0xc8000222, workaround, KB982670 is an optional, non-security update. Feel free to hide or ignore it. Other voice on the web, try the aforementioned solution too.